Today we're going to be testing which one of these electric planes goes the fastest without dying. Let's just start it. First up is this long range electric plane with four propellers. Let's go ahead and get in it. Two buttons. All right, there we go. Wait a second. If we click space, it says it will eject us. What kind of electric plane is this? Okay, well, we're definitely going to test that, of course, but let's see how this thing actually flies. Okay, we're going to close this door here. All right, so what kind of buttons we got in here? Altitude, battery. Oh, that's probably important. Speed. All right, all right. So cruise 30. Okay, we're just going to send it. All right, here we go. Full throttle. What's going to happen? This is max speed. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. We're, we are um, flying. Um, it's not pulling up. Please pull up. It's not pulling up. We're having issues. We're having issues right now. Oh, that's a mount. Oh, um, oh, that's not good. That's not good. We're stalling. We're stalling. We're stalling. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh, we are missing some propellers on the side of this thing. I can confirm. This is a very questionable plane. Um, I don't think this is really that long range. I could barely even take off in it. Oh, I think our ejection seat actually ejected us. Oh, okay. But of course, we're gonna try this one more time. All right, here we go. Full throttled. I'm gonna try like lightly pulling up this time. Maybe that was the issue. Okay, so slowly I pulling up. Tried not having that back wheel. There we go. All right, so smooth and easy. So there we go. We are on the air. This thing actually flies pretty quick. Um, it isn't slow. I can say that. All right, so we are cruising. What's our battery? Will this thing just completely drain? Okay, it is going down. It has um a, quite a bit of solar panels. So I mean, I'm pretty sure it should just regain its charge pretty quickly then. Um, unless we're below a cloud. Okay, so our speed is 66 and it's dropping. Okay, and our charge is also dropping. So cruise is 35. So we're gonna go down to 35 here. And 35 is our cruise. That is good enough. There we go. And then will our electric go up on our cruising um mode? here um let's see this is a very unmaneuverable plane but it is cool i'm just looking over our controls right now and number one says bark um i think they meant to spell break so i guess our brakes are going to be barking here <laughs> And then what the heck? Number three says break plane in half. What kind of, oh my gosh. Okay, well, of course we're gonna have to test that here. Maybe we should fly a little bit higher. I'm kind of concerned on this thing's capability of actually staying in the air if we click that. All right, so what's our altitude? 3,000, all right, three, two, one. We're gonna hit the brake button. Oh my gosh, uh, our entire tail just completely, oh, um, I've lost all control. Okay, we're ejecting. Here we go. We've just ejected from the electric plane. What kind of crap? Oh, this is insane. Oh, we even have a parachute. Of course we do. And then we're gonna land going on the ground head first. First. Oh, that's just the best part of this, isn't it? So now we're going to be free falling to our death because we're just going to completely land on my head. Hopefully this shark hat can protect me, but I really don't think so, guys. But the electric plane is actually still flying up there. It's like a red dot. You can still kind of see it. That's actually insane how it's still flying. Well, that was an interesting plane. I wouldn't say that's like long range, but um, okay, what in the world is this despicable me looking plane? Oh, there is no way this thing is flying me across this map. Okay, so they packed the tail of this thing full of small batteries and it has a ski on the back. Is this even made for concrete i don't even know all right here we go we're gonna get in this thing all right so we have a breaker right here to cut the electric for everything actually oh to turn it on the electric okay there we go now we have all of our speed here all right looking nice so let's see um we're gonna full throttle here one is gyro we're gonna probably turn that on all right here we go that's flaps um nope so up and down is our throttle all right here we go we're gonna put our throttle down um all right we are taking off okay this thing's a little bit speedy here we go these electric planes actually aren't too bad all right we're lifting off this thing was actually pretty easy to take off i can't even hear this hold on and then number three is our gears um oh oh wow those things move fast it must be because it's like pure electric and just it goes so fast you know um okay so it looks like we're flying like an ultralight electric plane that's kind of what it seems to be but i kind of want to try like landing this thing okay what's our electric at 96 wow this thing actually doesn't have like that bad um electric how do we um throttle down here to like is there like a throttle here that would be like perfect to actually gain electric and also not like fall out of the sky all right so we're on 49 throttle right now dude our electric is not going down at all i'm pretty sure we could get to the arctic by doing this it'd probably take a couple hours but that is besides the point we could definitely get there but i want to try landing this thing it looks like there's a smooth field over there all right we're gonna full throttle go down what the heck our ski on the back turns like with our yaw control that is so weird okay here we go we're coming in for a landing in this electric looking plane we're gonna turn on our landing lights also oh okay those bright spotlights perfect oh uh, we want to remember to deploy our landing gear. There we go. All right. Um, I don't think we can land like directly over here. It looks like we're going to land like directly on a mountain. I'm going to do a little runaway here. I think there's a perfect smooth patch right there. Oh yeah. We're going to go over there. I think Neotastic to ATC. We are coming in for a approach and a landing no matter what. Here we go. We're coming in. Um, all right. So number two is our break. It's okay. We're going to click that. Here we go. Our brakes are on. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, um, wait, what? What the heck? Um, I didn't expect that. Okay. That must just wait reverse. This thing has reverse thrust. I actually accidentally activated it i think um what's our throttle throttle is that negative oh i did not know we had reverse thrust okay well that was on all right so we did land we actually 
didn't take any damage from that. I don't know how. This thing like did a little bit of a flippy thing there, but it's actually pretty cool. That one was fast, although I think that one was a little bit faster. But let's go to this one right here. It kind of looks like the same as that one. So these are actually the same types of planes. Um, This one just has much, much more solar panels on it. So I think this one should survive longer. But let's kind of test it out here. Full throttle. Here we go. Cruise is 35. Yeah, it's basically the same setup they got. All right. So slowly take off here. Oh, um, can this one take off? Oh, this one's really sketchy, guys. This one's really sketchy. It's not, it's not letting me take off. Okay, we really need the whole runway for this one. Okay, so it's kind of realistic, actually. We used a pretty realistic amount of runway. I kind of like this one. All right, so here we go. We're on full throttle. We are going a whole 64. All right, so we were going like 60 on that last one. I think this one's actually a little bit faster, probably because it has more electric going through. But um, as you can see, our electric's going down. But if we start lowering our throttle here to like 35, which is our cruising. So 35 is cruise. We'll put it on 33. Um, Our electric will kind of still go down. Yeah, so we would literally just run out of electric if we continued flying this thing. Let's kind of put it down to like 13 here. Would that work? It's still going down, guys. This isn't looking too good for this thing. Uh, maybe to like 0 0.06. Oh, we're definitely going to fall out of the air. Um, guys, we're having issues. It's not turning back on. Oh, I really don't like these electrical planes. Oh, this is really bad. We're going down. Mayday, mayday. We're going to crash the electric plane. Oh, no. This is really bad. Oh, yeah. Straight in the force. We're going to go. We are stalling. We have ran out of battery. Oh, no. There it is. We just crashed and ran down some trees. Oh, gosh. Okay. I don't think this thing's really that safe or I'm um, good on speed. I don't think we could even get anywhere near the Arctic with this thing, but yeah, completely crashed. All right. That one definitely failed. I don't think I'm going to pass it if it crashed into a forest. Um, what? Do, oh my gosh. This thing has missiles on it. What in the world? Um, it also has an A-10 Warthog, um, cannon on it. Okay. So this is a very questionable plane. I like it though. This one, for some reason, just looks really fast. Um, it just looks really like aerodynamic, if you know what I mean. But let's go ahead, actually hop in this thing and oh, there's so many missiles. Oh gosh. Okay. We're going to open our canopy. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this thing can actually eject. I really doubt it, but how do we, right, we're going to close our canopy. Oh, duck. Oh gosh. That was scary. All right. So our seat is like a hundred feet back. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. Uh, we also can't scoot it up. Is our auto cannon really like right below our feet? Okay. So we have some feet warmers. It looks like, all right. So that'll definitely burn your feet off. We're going to turn on our heater, which is probably that auto cannon right there. Interior lights, nav lights. All right. What are these buttons do? Um, I don't know. Okay. Here we go. We're going to full throttle here. The engine's kicking on full throttle for takeoff performance, electrical takeoff. Here we go. Oh, um, it's really touchy. It's really touchy. Oh gosh, what in the world? Oh, um, it's, oh my gosh, this thing is actually very maneuverable. Um, this is me fully pulling up right now. Oh yeah, we're in an electric plane. Here we go. Oh yeah. Dude, this thing pulls so many Gs. Like, look at that. I can just pull up like that. Wait, what if there was a missile behind me and I just pulled something off like this? Like, oh, oh my gosh, that'd be crazy if I actually dodged it. Here we go. We're gonna fly through these. Let's see if the electric plane can actually fly through the actual electrical powering stuff. These are the things that charge you, by the way. So be careful. Oh, oh no. Oh, we're crashing. Oh, our wings are folding. What in the world? Um, this thing has foldable wings. Oh, we just had a major explosion. Uh oh, um, we're having issues. Electric plane has crashed into its own power grid. Oh, this is really bad. Yep. This thing is completely folded. All right. So I got something out for target practice and we will definitely know if we get a direct hit. I'm just going to say that. So let's go in our military plane over here and actually get some explosions going on. All right, here we go. Performance takeoff, takeoff on full speed. Here we go. I wish the seat was like a little bit more forward, but um, that's completely fine. We have our um, radar dish truck over there with a couple explosives on it. So we're going to be trying to strafe it with this wobbly little thing. Hold on. We're going to test our cannon real quick. Here we go. Oh, um, it definitely works. And infinite ammo isn't even on. So this thing must have its own like ammo stored in here somewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see the batteries in this thing. Wait a second. What's our electric at? Oh, wow. Um, This thing actually maintains a very good electric. Oh, I really think this one is the one guy. Like, look at this thing's electric. It's all, it's like staying at 99.9. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. We're coming in for the strafing run this thing does have missiles we're going to use those at the end here and see if those actually do um track stuff properly but here we go we're coming in for a strafing run oh do i have good enough aim we're gonna see here we go i'm trying to aim at it oh um gun overheated here we go hit the thing oh um we hit it oh oh my gosh that was really close our tail almost just smacked into it okay so i really don't have that good of aim probably because this thing is a little bit sensitive as you can tell we're gonna try this again so let's try getting some altitude here and then we're gonna do in first person here and just drop it just like that here we go Come 
Coming in for a bombing run. Oh, we got it. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Crazy explosion. Oh yeah. Electric plane for the win. Then of course, we can't forget to actually test these high performance missiles on this thing, or at least I think they are. They honestly look like super powerful missiles, but we're going to see. All right, slowly take off and we're going to be going for the same truck again. We're definitely going to be able to see if we hit it. All right. So what button do we even click to launch our missiles? Is there like a button in here that might be right there? Okay. What about number two? Oh, oh, not number two. Okay. I don't think number two is it. What about number three? Um, let's test number one. One. Oh, uh, I think it's number one, guys. I definitely think it's number one. All right, we're going to start angling ourselves towards it. Let's see if these are actually like pretty long range missiles. We're going to launch one from like around right here. All right, three, two, one missile is going to be launched. Let's see if this one hits the target. Oh, um, oh, it hit a direct target. Oh my gosh, these are actually have some pretty good aim. The planes are actually still over there. So we're going to launch some at these planes we got parked. So we're going to launch some right there, right there, and right there. It's all targeting the same one because that's the heaviest one. Okay, so that is pretty interesting. Oh, uh, it's not actually. Oh, there we go. Okay, that has some damage going to it but let's just say for some reason we lose all of our electrical all right so now we are starting to go down because we have no throttle obviously all right so we're starting to stall so what we're gonna do is right before we hit the ground maybe in a little bit here we're gonna click this button wait what does that do oh that's our canopy all right so we're gonna click this button three two one here we go it'll activate two parachutes and it will slow us down instead of hitting the ground going full speed so this thing actually has some pretty cool stuff in it and we can see our parachute and our plane in there and then we can also shoot our auto cannon which will slow us down really slowly so it'll slow us down by like a whole mile per hour or something which is actually kind of funny here we go we're coming in for a landing oh oh that completely breaks the boo perfect oh yeah nothing happened then our canopy still open so we can still get out of this thing pretty cool engineering they got going on in this i'm honestly thinking this one's definitely gonna be the one but we're gonna see what the heck this is over here so this thing has a super large battery on it okay so that's uh kind of promising and it has a couple solar panels on it on the entire top part okay all right so we have our throttle and flaps we're gonna turn on our flaps just like that and full throttle here we go full throttle take off oh um i don't know if engine two's on okay here we go oh that took off very smoothly all right we're in the air it is a little bit um finicky as you can tell oh my gosh um let's go ahead and turn off flaps something that should be required on all these airplanes is a parachute because you know it could always run out of battery which is more likely to happen than running out of actual fuel but this is a pretty cool plane it has some interesting maneuverability not a whole lot of buttons in the inside um on our control panel to our left side of the screen we have a whole bunch of actual stuff here so up and down wait what is that do um up and down oh that's our throttle okay awesome oh we're gonna hit a windmill oh no oh that was so close that was actually so close okay and then we have a night mode number four night mode was night mode um oh it activates backlights okay and let's just say we've lost all of our electric what would actually happen to this thing oh wait uh okay well this thing would definitely win in the speed category if that was accurate um i don't think it's really that accurate to be honest this looks at about normal speed for um basically everything we've been using but let's just say we've lost all of our electric all right there we go actually wait a second how is our electric wait um our electric's actually going up with all this on on full speed what the heck this thing can actually gain electric when we're on full speed um that's interesting what if we turn it to straight nighttime let's see how this does um straight nighttime oh that's not good yep it starts dropping drastically okay so i think these things only can be used in the daytime or i'll say it will literally fall out of the air but honestly i don't really know if i would trust this thing with my life but we're gonna test it right now cut the throttle we've completely lost everything we're gonna be activating flaps right now to help us kind of make a smoother landing here oh gosh here we go we're about to come in for a landing do we have any parachutes on this thing i don't think we do guys it's not looking too hot for this thing um i'm gonna try pulling up last second to kind of make it smooth but our propellers are completely on zero they're just kind of like on an idle mode but we're gonna be landing straight in the forest to kind of cushion the landing here so three two one start pulling up here we go butter the landing oh um oh wait that wasn't actually a bad landing at all i think we survived all right can we take off again full throttle full throttle oh we're gonna hit a tree we're gonna hit a tree oh oh no um engine two is gone um yeah i don't think we can really take off again if i'm gonna be honest this is a pretty cool plane though but i don't think we can take off all right moment of truth which one of these planes is actually Actually the best one so this long range um ejection seat plane this one was pretty cool i like the the how you could blow the tail off but i don't really like how it couldn't like actually sustain a full charge so i don't know about that one that one's definitely out of the charts here this one it has a very interesting design to it um i like it just how the design is but i don't think it was the fastest but a very cool engine design this one was basically the same as that one over there um couldn't sustain a full charge i'm pretty sure and just yeah didn't fly correctly this one stayed on 99 battery 
battery the entire time, has missiles, has two engines, has a parachute, just in case you actually lose all your electric. A whole bunch of advanced stuff actually inside of this one, but this one right here also sustained a full charge, but I don't really like how it didn't have any emergency features on it, so we couldn't even deploy a parachute if we were going to crash. So I'm going to say this one right here for the win. This one is ultimately the best electric plane ever. And just to top it off, it has missiles, auto cannons, and much more on it. So yes, this one is for the win. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments which one you would actually choose though. But that's probably going to be it for this Stormworks video. Let me know if we should test some more stuff out in this game. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell, join the Discord. Link is in the description, but thanks for watching and goodbye.